Cubans are now facing their third day without power after attempts to restore electricity overnight failed. And now to make matters worse, the island is being hit with a category one hurricane. More than 216,000 people in Havana, a city of 2 million, had power restored. 52,000 power workers were trying to restore service to the rest of the island, but the arrival of Hurricane Oscar has slowed down those efforts. The blackout and the hurricane mix threatens to plunge the nation into a deeper crisis. Let's bring Bring Dave in and talk a little bit about Oscar and what the situation is with that system. Yes, uh, we watched it make landfall here around 550. Mm -hmm. uh, Baracoa, the northeastern uh, coast of Cuba here, category one and still moving west southwest at seven miles an hour. It's slowing down and eventually that movement will turn to the north here and then rapidly moving to the northeast between about Monday and Tuesday, expecting that to occur here. Now, tropical storm warnings are coming into the Bahamas here uh, and a tropical storm watch is just a bit farther west. It will stay east of the east coast here and there it goes dissipating by west. Wednesday as a tropical storm uh, moving uh, up into the uh, northern moving out in the Atlantic. They're staying away from the East Coast. These are the updated watches and warnings. We'll keep an eye on that for the Bahamas there. Uh, hurricane warning remains in effect along the Cuban coast there, but uh, now tropical storm conditions expected in the Bahamas. Uh, we continue to look at these showers moving through the area here. I think this is pretty much the back edge. This is just an uh, air cluster of showers that is moved through. Not the best timing here if you're out for your evening and not the best places here going right over Hard Rock Stadium, but Broward County up around Pompano Beach uh, just had, came in with a heavier shower. There is Hard Rock Stadium. It just worked its way through, so maybe getting a little break here and just begins to push through the metro areas and push to the interior. There's still a little activity off the coast, but overall, I think this is the heaviest rain, and now it's about to move out of the metro areas here, similar to the situation up here in Broward County. Still a little more activity right off the coast, but uh, going from the next weather the rain radar network to the rain tracker picks up the activity where it is now and clears it out by about eight, nine o'clock tonight. It's still lingering a bit uh, just to the south in the Keys. It's dropped the temperatures. Rain cooled air. Miami is 74. That'll come up a few degrees here over the next few hours. Might cool things off in the Keys where it's in the mid to low 80s. Still seeing that heavy rain going right over the airport here. That's moving right towards Doral and will continue to push through the area. In fact, we'll keep those rain chances in the forecast. 7, 8 o'clock tonight, tapering off by 9 o'clock. 10, 11 o'clock temperatures are in the upper 70s here. So a little more moisture around for your Monday. Isolated rain showers will take the breeze out of the forecast, warm things up a bit Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Breeze comes back on Friday. Another front approaching that will increase the showers just a bit and that stronger breeze comes back coming in right from the northeast here. Uh, overnight tonight, those showers work their way south. They could redevelop by tomorrow morning at six, seven o'clock in the morning. It's moving right through the metro areas here. There's the breeze. There's a little break between about 10, 11 o'clock and 12, but by the afternoon and evening, more showers develop and work their way through the area by 8, 9 o'clock in the evening here. From Oscar, we look at the Atlantic where nothing else is expected here over the next seven days. There's a small craft advisory that continues in the Atlantic waters and in the Keys. It goes all the way through Tuesday now. Watch those high tide times a little later in the day tonight and then again tomorrow uh, with these uh, minor flooding in and around the high tide times. Showers will be around tomorrow, maybe a little break midday, but increasing a bit 6 to 9 o'clock in the evening. Next weather seven day forecast. We'll have temperatures warming a bit as we lower the rain chances, lower the breeze Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Wind starts to pick up a bit with more rain chances Saturday and Sunday.